Hello there again. We've got an entertainment choice for you today that's kind of different. Uh, it's a movie called, with one word title, called Jumper. Jumper, released in 2008. Maybe you've heard of it. It's going to be on pay-per-view, and you can see it there. And it stars Christian Hadenson. Now, if you remember, if you're a Star Wars fan or fanatic, he was uh, called to play in the last uh, three episodes, of the, well, the newer prequel episodes of Star Wars that uh, took place here the last few years. He was uh, Anakin Skywalker, grown up and turns in, of course, to Darth Vader and so forth. Maybe you're fond of that series. But anyway, you might know him from that. Christian Hadenson stars in this movie, as well as uh, movie icon Samuel L. Jackson. He's been in 50 or 60 movies. You're probably very familiar with his work. Let me explain a little bit of what this movie's about. It had a really cool premise. What would you think if you had the ability, at any time you wished, to immediately stop from where you are and jump, so to speak, to another place anywhere in the country or any other part of the world in a moment and end up there. In other words, travel immediately to another place by just your sheer will of thought. Wouldn't that be awesome? Right now I'd like to be on a beach in Miami. Bam! You're there. Or you're in a troubled situation. Something's going to happen to you that's dangerous. Bam! You put yourself in another location. Well, that's what the premise of this movie about. The character that Christian Hadenson plays realizes he has the ability, and I won't give you the details on how he finds this out, that he can locate himself from one place to another, teleport himself really, in an instant. Now, in the movie, course of the movie, he finds out that he's not the only one that has this ability. Of course, it brings him great wealth and riches, because he can be in one place, taking things, getting money, come back to where he lives, and nobody ever knew he was there or where he came from. Just to give you a little background on the Jumper movie, there we find out that these Jumpers and the Paladins have been in a battle. Paladins, who's that? Well, that's Samuel Jackson's character. They've been battling it out for years trying to capture these Jumpers and stop them from what they're doing because the premise is they believe that only God should be able to be at any place at any time. And any person that does that is trying to act like God because God is everywhere at one time. So there's been this battle going on that he knew nothing about, and then it turns into a lot of chase scenes, jumping from one place to the next, almost getting caught and then jumping and getting out, involving friends, family, and other things. There's a lot of excitement. It, it would have been a really cool premise, but overall for me, the movie fell flat. It's kind of one of those movies, you've seen these type, where certain parts of the movie are really awesome. There's certain scenes in this movie that are just cool to look at, but the whole movie together didn't work for me. Give it a shot for yourself. Jump and check out Jumper, see what you think.